Dear Diary, I still can't sleep. My mind is awake with a million possibilities. Dreams for a world we can create. Where I can be who I want to be. Anything. Anyone. Imagine that. I can be anything I want to be. I can be a rock star playing my guitar. I can be a monkey up in a tree. I can be a rapper, put your hands in the air like you just don't care. And I can be a tapper. Or a lady named Gaga. F -f -freckle face, f -f freckle face. Or a prima ballerina. is a place all by itself, a separate country. You've heard of the American or British nation. Well, this is the imagination. It's a wonderful place. How would you like to make snowballs in the summertime or drive a big bus right down Lower Street West? How would you like to have a ship all to yourself that makes daily trips to China and Australia. How would you like to be the CN Tower in the morning and in the afternoon? Fly south with a flock of Canadian geese. It's very simple. Of course it takes practice. The first thing you've got to learn is how to pretend. First, think. Second, believe. Third, dream. And finally, dare. I am brave. I am a leader. I am whoever I want to be. I am curious. I am fashionable. I am a rock star. I am unique. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, and it feels like home. They can say, they can say, it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say, I lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design.
with the world we're gonna make. However big, however small, let me be part of it all. The world I see, the world I close my eyes to see, I close my eyes. This is the best birthday party ever. June 4th, 2013, Skylo Mooley Benabom turned 12 years old. Skylo being Skylo, she threw the biggest birthday party of the century, inviting every kid in town. Halfway through the party, just after the water balloon fight, but before the cake, things took a dramatic turn. In an instant, there was a flash and a buzz. The power went out. And once the kids made sense of everything, they realized every adult had vanished. Yeah! until they tried to get more food from inside. The doors and windows to Skylar's house were locked. They were stuck in Skylar's backyard and there was no way out. What felt like hours, days, an eternity passed. Left alone with nothing but some cake, some Mountain Dew, and a half-eaten pizza, the kids were completely uh, on their own. In that moment, as the last cell phone showed faint battery life, they all came to realize things would never ever be the same again. This is their story. being maintained, however, rations are running thin. During the 44 minutes of intense partying, almost all the food and drink were consumed. The moon is tense as everyone eyes the last slice of pizza. The kids are having a hard time restraining themselves. Finally, Toby makes a run for the slice, bolting towards the table. Sammy, get from cell! No! no! I gave order when we're all starving. I say 
every kid for himself. Yes, yeah, survival of the hungriest. Let's all go for it on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Skylar's older brother, Charlie, had an idea. You see, Charlie always had ideas, which constantly made him the center of attention. Skylar hated feeling like she was always in Charlie's shadow. That's why she was so excited about having this big birthday party. But it seems things are not destined to go her way. Wait! What if we cut the pizza slice into small bits so that everyone can have a piece? Ah! Pure genius! Charlie truly cares for everyone. Anyone could have thought of that. Who is in favor of electing Skylar's brother, Charlie, as our first ruler? Charlie! 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 Guys, what are you doing? It's my birthday! Speech! 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 Uh, dudes, dudettes, and tag-along siblings. We've gathered here on the first day of our new lives to come together and create peace, stability, and enough Mountain Dew for all! Yes, yes. 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 Every great country needs a great name, so uh, I hereby declare this backyard um, um, Charlandia! Yes, fellow Charlandians, this is the dawn of a new era. Hello? Anybody? When I first got to the party today, I sort of overdid it with the lemonade. So I asked Skylar's mom where the bathroom is. When I was in there, I heard a strange sound, and when I was ready to leave, after I washed my hands, of course, the doorknob fell off. I was stuck inside Skylar's bathroom, and no one seemed to notice. I know the kids are in the backyard, but what kind of parents leave a girl stuck in the bathroom? <clears throat> Sorry. Surely someone will need to use this bathroom eventually. And so it was, a new society beginning to take shape, piece by piece, step by step, and dance by dance. What, you may ask? You see, Kai and his best friend Toby were running the military. Kai's dad was a retired member of the Navy SEALs, and Kai's best friend Toby was a hip-hop dancer. Together, they formed a very unique group of soldiers. I can't hear you! all is well in Charlandia. I couldn't be more proud of the work everyone is doing. Together, we will build something great.
back in the summer of 08, I got the chicken pox pretty bad. Laid up for two weeks. I stumbled up on the most incredible, dramatic R Spring show ever created for television. Man vs. Wild. Day, day after day. I would slurp up my chicken soup while memorizing every detail of how to survive in nature. I always had a feeling my knowledge would come of use. And I, and I knew I was right. From now on, I would be called Wolf. And Wolf will single-handedly save us all! and I was scared to go to my first piano sale. I hid in this tree house. I felt safe. When I was 10 and my dad yelled at me for lying, this is where I ran to. I felt protected. And now, that I'm 12 and everyone has left me on my birthday. Well, what better place to be? When historians look back on Charlandia, most would agree the turning point came one particularly cloudy afternoon. It was then the Charlandians began to realize maybe their leader had been taking things a bit too far. Let's take a look at this fateful day. I'm hungry. Bring me the chef. Certainly, King Charlie. Hello, your lordship. How is the pizza coming? Well, uh... We tried making pizza, but we realized the only thing we really know how to do is order from Domino's. I thought you attended the Young Chef's Academy. Yeah, well, the day I was there, the focus was on fruit baskets. Enough. You must go back to your crew and figure this out immediately. Yes, Your Highness, I live to serve you. Judge! Judge! At your service, sire. I need your services immediately. Please, can you judge this for me? At what angle should my crown sit atop my head? Like this? Or like this? Neither way does justice to your beautiful complexion. You're quite correct. Thank you. Court gestures, I'm bored. Entertain me. Perfect. I can't tell you how enjoyable it is to have an entire country serving me. I highly recommend it. It is now time for King Charlie's Royal Dance Party! What's the longest you've ever spent in a bathroom? 10 minutes? Half an hour? Try three hours. I'm so bored. I've even read all of the ingredients on the bottles on the medicine cabinet. Do you know what methylisothelinone the, uh, is? Well, neither do I. But it's in everything. And you can tell a lot about a family by what's in their medicine cabinet. For example, Skylar's been saying she's so not a Justin Bieber fan. Well then, what is this? That's right, a singing Justin Bieber toothbrush. 
Gotcha. Really gotta get out of here. During times of strife in any society, there are those who quietly bow their heads and do as they're told. There are those who climb the ranks by catering to the leader's demands. And there are those who express themselves the only way they know how. Through music. Man, this whole Charlandia thing's intense. Seriously, can't tie my shoes out, Charlie, leaning over me, barking orders. So nice to get away from it all, breathe some fresh air, and feel the sunshine on my shoulders. I'm sick of push-ups. What are you doing? Not doing push-ups. Just chilling, letting out some steam. Does Charlie know you're here? Don't know, don't care. Life is too short to know about Charlie, man. You can do this if you want. Do you play any instruments? I'm a great snapper. I knew I shouldn't join them. Charlie would be furious, but there is something about their warm laughs and their carefree attitudes and their golden smiles that I just couldn't resist. I'd love to join you, but my break my rules were very specific. No breaks. And no laughing and no playing and definitely. Oh man, when did things get so out of control? Yeah, dude, and everything's changing and not for the better. If only there were a way to get back to those carefree days of our childhood. Things used to be so simple. So pure. Hey guys, what's going on? Just staying for peace, man. Charlie is out of control. All sense of fun. They have no food, and we're all miserable. I'm fun. And I've got some apples. Want to join me? Up there? In Sky America, no one goes orders. Listen, I know it may seem that I just want my own way, but I'd never say to bow down and obey. So come and join the Skymerica team. Come enjoy the Skymerica dream. So what do you say? We're in. So much about survival. It's about knowing where to look for food. This rotten log may look normal to some people, but to me, it represents one thing. Lunch. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, word. All the protein and vitamins you need. Great source of energy. Here we go. Uh, an explosion in your mouth kind of tastes like a mix of dirty socks and rotten yogurt. Man, I wonder how the peach is coming along. Word spread fast about the new country, deep in the forest in Skylar's yard, but no one dared to speak of it for fear of Charlie's wrath. Until one day, the think of all happened. Charlie and Skylar came head to head. What should I say? Green screen. Hey, big bro, what's up? King Charlie to you. Oh, haven't you heard? I created my own country. Well, me and some of the others, we decided we'd rather do things our own way. Not that your way is totally awesome, but we're into less young. Okay, gotta go. Bye. You think you can run a country? Fine. 
You and your country stay on that side of the line, but don't come to me for any help. From this day forward, no Charlandian shall cross over this line. Fellow Sky Americans, from this day forward, you can continue to act however you please. <clears throat> I've come to the realization that I may never leave this bathroom. Like, ever. And that's fine. Actually, I've started to enjoy my long conversations with the mirror, my shared looks with the soap dish. My dental hygiene has never been better. <clears throat> However, in my 11 years of existence on this earth, I've acquired some pretty cool things in the outside world. And I have listed to whom these things should go to on this roll of toilet paper written in lipstick. My pink iPod. This goes to Sasha. Thanks to you, I now know how many Starbursts I can fit in my mouth. My favorite pair of hoop earrings. These go to mom. May you always look younger than you really are. My bike. To my little brother, baby. But if you scratch it up, I swear I will make you pay. And scruffles. You beautiful dog. There's some stale fries under my bed. I want you to have them. Love, your sparkling clean gal. In the midst of rising tension, there are always those who don't think of themselves, but only of others. When the folk musicians joined Sky America, they realized there was no reason others shouldn't enjoy the same freedoms they had. So they set out to do something about it. I'm not usually the one who put risks for others, but people deserve freedom and we're in the position to help. The first thing we did is go out a uh, escape route to Sky America. Then we found the best time to make it happen. This is it. Charlie has just laid down for his nap. His thumb is in his mouth. I repeat, his thumb is in his mouth. Okay, listen closely. You'll have to remember every word I say. When you're in the tool shed, roll on the ground two times while you hum the first phrase of Charlandia. Then, as soon as you reach the tool shed, the launcher, hop three times on your left foot only. At the bird feeder, take off your uniforms and wait until you hear a hoot of an owl. Oh, oh. Then duck under the laundry line, flap your arms counterclockwise motion, and freeze like a bird until someone from Sky America comes and gets you. If you follow these instructions and stay calm, you will reach to freedom. I thought you were going to bring us the whole way. It's dangerous if we all go together. Well, the, the guards will suspect us. What if we forget what to do? You won't forget. You can't. I don't know. Maybe I should just go back. Going back is easy, but easy doesn't make it right. Gotcha! <gasps> Charlie wants to see you. We have been observing you through our bird watching binoculars, but clearly you are not birds. What are you, spies, traitors, worse? Aha, you found them. Now explain yourselves. We were just um, doing some push ups. Nonsense. This smells of incense and healing oil. Sky America, that's it. This place is not big enough for two countries. Once and for all, we must decide who truly controls this backyard. Through a water fight? Red Rover? Dr. Dr. Goose? Don't be silly. They're the only respectable way to measure strength. Talk of war. 
This is the moment you've been training for. Gather the troops, all of them. And here we are, the final chapter of our epic tale. Tensions rise as both countries take their places in Skylar's backyard. Relentians, we come in peace and love. Are you sure you want this battle to proceed? Actually, not really. I'm fine leaving. I kind of like Skylar. I'm scared of getting hurt. It's getting dark. Of course this battle must go on. There's only room for one country. Take your positions. Release the snake. Just because we're into peace and love doesn't mean we're just going to stand here and let you get us. Wait, they girl. Are you ready? Charlie, do you really want to do this? On the count of three. One, two, three. to rain. That's what you get. I deserve it, Skylar. I'm really sorry for getting all crazy. I don't mean to ever make you sad. It just feels sometimes like you always get your way. And I just wanted, for once, to feel special on my birthday. You are special, and you're my little sister. So from now on, we will always be on the same side. Hey guys, I hate to break this up, but we're still trapped in here with no food and no parents. That's true. Honey, I'm home. Mom? Hey, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. We just went out to get more pizza. Did we miss anything when we were gone? Not really. I just knew you'd be responsible enough to take care of yourself. Charlie, on the other hand. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I'll be inside. Um, And by the way, look who I found hiding in the bathroom. You look, I have no idea what I've been through. I'm so happy to see your faces. Gail, have we got a story to tell you. And so it was, they told the entire story of Skyr's epic birthday party ever. The dramatic twist and turns and the final revelation that the kids have the power to take care of themselves even if it isn't always easy embrace the relationships with the ones close to you and always be nice to those who show up at your birthday party this was the most epic birthday party the most epic birthday party the most Party the most epic birthday party the most